Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter. Um, today I have an unboxing for you, or unbagging, from gbfke.com. I said it slowly so I'd say it right. I stumble over all the letters. Um, I actually going to have two unboxing videos for you from them. One's going to be cross stitch related, one's going to be diamond painting related. Today is the cross stitch related. Um, I got four cross stitch kits from them. I didn't get any kind of um, accessories or anything. So let's dive in. I'll start with the small one. Sorry. Let me move my browser window so I can see it over there. Alright, this one. I mean, it's exactly what it looks like. It's a bookmark with kitty cats. It's a pretty simple one, but I thought it was cute. And um, it is showing... This is a collaboration, so I did not pay for anything. <laughs> so I thought I'd better say that, because I haven't been saying that in some of my videos. Okay, this is showing currently at a $1.06 USD. They do have... Um, ongoing like specials like right now buy a dollar and seven or more and save eight percent off buy sixty four dollars and sixty four cents more and save ten percent off so I guess does that mean over I'm confused this is more so maybe more than the dollar six I have no idea but they have sixty four sixty four off twenty five pounds off coupon so I'm guessing this is 10%. They have uh, buy 4 get 1 free, buy 8 get 2 free, and buy 12 get 3 free. So the more you buy, the more you save on this site. Alright, so let's look at this. I have not opened any of these yet. Save them to open them with you. I like big projects, but... I get kind of stuck in that I really want to finish something and most of my projects are too, too big to actually just sit and finish like quickly within a few days or something so I thought maybe it'd be nice to start getting some small kits. Um, so I think most of my unboxings I've been trying to get something small. Alright, I'm actually surprised at the collars. I don't know, I thought they were all going to be darker. Okay, it comes with two bookmarks. It's the weird rubbery fabric. Now, I, it, I, it's hard for me to call it fabric because it, it feels like rubber or silicone or it kind of feels like the stuff you lay on shelves so stuff doesn't slide around. Anyway, I, I like this stuff. Um, I'm doing another bookmark set that has this kind of material, and I actually really like stitching on it. It's really easy to stitch on, and it's really easy to count. I don't know if you can see the holes, but the holes are really clear. I'll try to get really close, but this does not like to focus. What is this? Does it say? Yeah, it's 14 count. 30 stitches wide by 104 stitches high. 5.4 by 18.8 .8 centimeters. Sorry, I should have already told you that. So I got three collars. I guess it comes with two of these. I am sorry, it is really early in the morning. I haven't slept yet, so my brain's a little foggy. Looks like it comes with three, yes, three needles. A water soluble pin, which I'm still terrified to use on, on fabric. If you've used one of these, let me know if they actually wash out and stay washed out. Comes with the tassel to put on it after you're finished with it. And it comes with two cards of the three colors. So one for one design and one for the other, since the front and back are different on this bookmark set. And it's just three colors of blue. And they're really pretty. I don't know if they're showing up. They look like they're showing up pretty true to, well, a little bit lighter maybe on camera, but pretty true. I mean, you can get an idea of what they're going to look like in 
Blue is not normally my favorite color, but I actually really like these. And it's just they're cute cats. And it looks like it's going to be, other than the fact, you know, you have to count it. So that slows you down a little bit. It looks like they're actually going to be really, really fast to stitch out. It's got enough detail to make it pretty. And, but enough lack of detail, I guess, to, to make them quick. Alright, there's that one. Like I said, that one was $1.06 is showing right now. Alright. Next. DIY cross stitch. Now, I haven't had... I'm not going to say I haven't had DIY cross stitch because I'm not sure if I've had a DIY cross stitch kit, but... I wonder if this is the brand that people seem to dislike so much. And if so, I wonder if I'm going to be really disappointed in this kit. Where do I open it from? If you watch any of my unboxing videos, you know I struggle with opening packages almost every time. I'm definitely going to repackage this. I do not like this. Plastic covering. All right, what does the book? So DIY cross stitch, it is just this cute cat laying on a bookshelf. There's a bird, fish, owl, a clock. I don't know why, but I love clocks. Some kind of little bottle. It's funny because it kind of makes me think of a little bottle of bubbles that kids blow. Candle. There's all kind of little details on this. Charts on that nice tear free paper. Ooh, that's tiny. I got my glasses on and I can see it clearly, so that's not bad. 25 colors. Oh, I really hope 25 colors is enough. That's very few colors for such a pretty picture but we will see I will do this and I will do a review of it it's going to take a while though before you know we get it done though but maybe once I get like a few sections up with the more intricate like detailed sections maybe then I'll do like a review on how well this is turning out but I'll probably upload something showing my progress Okay, so 25 colors. Looks like the symbols. I mean, they use a lot of the same symbols, but different colors. So they shouldn't be too difficult. Because it's like blue and red and then like a dark bluish purple in a orangey color. So I don't think it's going to be like, difficult to tell them apart. Light blue and a dark blue different directions the lower left corner ones but different colors I think I'll be okay looking at it it's printed pretty clearly I think even though I might not like fall in love with this whenever I'm doing it it's gonna have just enough detail just enough colors for you to be able to see what everything is and I mean, it's, I mean, there's several colors in the bird, there's several colors in the cat, and in the clock. I think my biggest issue might be how much of the 939 there is, but I mean, look at the picture again. There is a lot of dark space and dark, just looks like maybe the clock's going to be more just a dark circle with a little bit of slightly lighter color around it. We will see. I will stop thinking, overthinking it. So it says six, what are these? 216 stitches by 173 stitches. 60 by 50. I'm not sure if that's, you know what? Let's just look at the canvas. So I'm wondering if 60 by 50 is the size of the canvas. It's a pretty good size canvas. 
bigger than I thought it was going to be. Comes with three needles stuck in the canvas. I'm taking those out. They're the blunt needles. They're like rounded edges. So as long as they're not too thick to be going through the holes, then I will like these because I poke myself so much. I'm going to sit these to the side for now. Try not to hit the camera as I unfold this beast. Pretty big. There's the whoops, they're not stuck down. The 25 college printed really large. That's nice. I'll be able to see that just fine. I think even you can see the symbols on on the canvas. It's printed so large and clear. It's 11 count. I don't know if I mentioned that. 60 by 50 centimeters. I'm seeing it on the site now. So 60 by 50 centimeters, 11 count. 216 stitches wide, 573 stitches high. 24 colors. I really wish they would show pictures of what it looks like stitched out. I think I'm going to have fun stitching on this, and I'm just going to hope it turns out well. Everything's clearly printed. Everything looks like it's going to be super easy to stitch, which makes me happy, because I, I need just nice, easy stitches. I like to be able to just sit and stitch and not struggle to see what I'm stitching. I have something, I can't remember which kit, but I keep having to refer back to the chart and like look really close and differentiate. Oh, it's, anyway, I won't talk about it, but this one looks like it's going to be easy, easy, easy. All right, look at, look at the floss, because that's my favorite part. And ooh, there's, it's thick. There we go. Soon that's the 939. So there's one, I'm dropping stuff again, 1 through 18. <sighs> Turn my light on so maybe you can see better. Just have that morning light shining through the window. 17, hiding behind 16. Look at these pretty colors. Kind of like fall colors, which I love. Oh, I just, I love fall colors. And a nice vibrant red. It's really washed out on the screen. I don't know if it's going to be on your screen, but on mine it is. Got a pretty green and a purple. Yeah, I don't think the light's helping. Anyway, pretty colors. Let's look at 19 through 25. It's a pretty is that a teal, aquamarine, a purple, more fall kind of colors? Yes, I think I'm going to really enjoy working on this, if nothing else than for just the colors of the floss and just how easy this stitch looks like it's going to be. I'm definitely going to have to like braid these or something so they don't tangle up. There's just a lot going on here. Tell me, what do you think? Do you think 24 colors is going to be enough? I'm really worried about it, but I'm going to stitch it and I'm going to enjoy it. So, I will give it an honest review whenever I get enough done to let you know what I think about it. Because Just because I enjoy stitching something doesn't mean I'm going to like how it's actually turning out. go in and put this in. I put I have these zippered bags that I put my kits in that I don't keep in their original bags and I have it like labels I put what date I start them and what the project name is. So I'm going to go and put this in that. 
because I really didn't like the plastic packaging it came in. Alright, I'm sorry I'm so rambly today. Alright, moving on. I will have links and prices to everything in the description box. Just Oh, this one's a Joy Sunday. Right? That's what the symbol is, right? I just got my first Joy Sunday kits recently. And uh, this is the symbol that's on them. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's the same symbol, same packaging. So I'm a little excited. It does not say Joy Sunday on the site that I can see. But most of us know that symbol. Oh, it's called Christmas Toy Store. It's 14 count, 30 by 21 centimeters. It's showing at $4.29 USD on the site right now. comes with the um, printing on the package for your instructions for cross stitch and how to choose how to choose your strands, how many strands to use depending on the count, how to choose the right thread color, printed and unprinted because you know it's different on your canvas than on your floss holder. Shows you how to stitch on unprinted cloth how to clean and maintain the, the different stitches you might need. Let's open this up. I'm excited about this one. Contains cotton fabric, cotton thread, needle, and instructions. Always comes on this nice, thick, sturdy paper. Looks like it's just the two half sheets. Or not half sheets, but two. Just the half of this big sheet. I'm sorry I can't talk today. <laughs> oh, look at all that back stitching. But we need it to make it look as pretty as it's supposed to. I have not completed a, a Joy Sunday kit yet, but everybody that reviews them I see say that they turn out just like the picture. Or even better than the picture. So I'm really looking forward to this. Look it's, look at the little presents. and I just, I don't know, I love everything about this. The teddy bear, the rocking horse, the presents, the choo-choo train. Christmas toy store. It's just so cute. I've just been in the mood for stuff like this recently. Let's look at the canvas. Oh, I forgot to show you. Another thing about Joy Sunday is they're always printed. So... Clearly, there is no trouble reading them at all. Full stitch looks like there's 30, no, 49 colors in this in full stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Ignore my fingernails, by the way. One, two, three, four, five half stitch. One in trench knots and one, two, three, four, five, six colors in back stitch. I've decided I actually like half stitch because I'm doing one right now, Joy Sunday, that has half stitch and it goes so quick. Alright, let's look at this canvas. It is a 14 count so it is smaller which is a lot harder for me to read but it's printed really clearly my only thing is like I cannot read these very well and I have my my readers on right now oh, it's so blurry on screen but can you see how tiny they are they're like smaller than my little my yeah pinky now Looks like one through, looks like all 49 symbols for the floss are down here for the full stitch. And then this is the half stitch. I only know that because it's the little checkerboard design. Um, the French knot, because it's 310, the French knots are in 310. So these would be the back stitch colors, but I will just have to refer to the chart for those because I'm not going to struggle to read those. 
It's a pretty small piece, but it's going to be so pretty. And like I said, I've been wanting some smaller pieces. Um, 30 by 21 centimeters. I've never measured a Joy Sunday. Are they... Is that the canvas or is that the picture? So that's a little over 23 centimeters wide. I have a little under 17. So yeah, that's the size of the canvas. 127 stitches by 90 stitches. But it's plenty big. I mean, it's 14 counts, so it's going to be smaller anyway. And it's a nice frameable size. For me, it's a nice frameable size. I don't know, maybe you like bigger ones or even smaller ones. I can kind of make out some of the detail, which I like whenever I look at stamp ones and I can make out detail because that means usually once it's stitched, you can make out the detail. I'm just kind of rambly now. I'm looking forward to doing this one. I don't know when I'm going to start it, but I think I'm going to start it soon. Because it is Christmas. It's a Christmas toy store. Alright, now let's look at these colors of floss. Not stapled together. As with the most joy Sundays, it comes with two needles stapled to the floss card. Go and pop those apart. Oh, my ring's caught. I've been wearing my wedding ring again. I've lost weight. I couldn't wear it for years because I'd gained a lot of weight. And I've lost a lot of weight. So now I can wear it again. And it makes me happy, but it catches on everything. Let's look for number one. Okay. Number one through 15. A lot of colors, but not a lot of each individual color. Because it's a small, you know, it's a small, small size black, really pretty like grays, browns, tans, oranges, like orange tan I mean. Off white, I can't tell what that is, it's a cream, almost an egg root, probably not egg root. Red and green, because you can't have Christmas stuff without red and green, right? I really like this one. It's very faded look at on, on my screen but it's really vibrant bright like spring green it's a little bit darker but you know still a light green bunch of shades of green that's pretty so 16 through 30 greens blues pinks and this orangey brown. This is kind of a yellow green. So it's 1 through 30 all together. Then on this card, it is 31 through 45. Pinks, blues, blue greens, reddish. I think it's red. Yeah, it's red. There's oranges, yeah, oranges and orangey browns, and then 46 through 49, cream, white, and tan. So there's 31 through 49. And then all 49 together. Yeah, it's going to be pretty. Let me set this to the side. And I have one more cross stitch to show you. One more cross stitch kit to show you. I'm excited about this one. Hope it turns out well. Because now that I've seen the other DIY. I'm not so sure, but this is a DIY cross stitch also. This is just called Clown, but we all know who that is. 
or who that you know references. It's 40 by 50 centimeters, 11 count, stamped. It's showing right now at three dollars and twenty-two cents USD on the site, which I think is a steal for 40 by 50, 11 count. on that unterrible paper. Ah, oh, it's only got 20 collars in it. We will see how it turns out, but I'm right now I'm kind of really disappointed. <laughs> Cuz I mean, 20 collars Honestly, if I'd paid my own money for this, well, still, $3.22 is such a good price for this kit. It's just, I think if I had purchased it, I'd send it back. Because, look, can you see this? His hair is going to just blend in with the background. You're not going to be able to, there's no, it's all the same collar, and his hair is supposed to be a different collar. Yeah, I might talk to the company about this one, because this one's really disappointing. Or this, you know, the website I got it from. Cause look, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm whining now, but you know what it's like to be disappointed. It's supposed to have different colors in the background. His hair is supposed to be green, and the background is supposed to be like dark blues and light blue. And let me look at this again. Nine three nine. So his hair is going to be that really dark. Was it like a really dark navy blue? His hair is going to be that along with the background. And half his shirt and coat. Yeah, this is really disappointing. He's got what three? He's got several colors in his face. His eyes are just going to be that dark color too. Ah. I don't even know if I want to start this one. I'm disappointed in this one. I'm going to talk to my contact at the company and tell them what just a disappointment this kit is. Let's look at the canvas. Because with two needles in stuck in the uh, canvas. Forty by fifty. Let me count. 20 colors. Disappointing. I don't even know what to say about it. It's printed clearly. You can see all the symbols. I really don't like how they put white with red circles by boxes with that are all red with white dots along with the red little triangle like greater than signs and then there's red stripes and white boxes with red dots there's that's that's gonna be a pain red X's half their not half let's see one two three four five six seven eight other 20 symbols involve red Yeah, there's just, I mean, right now, just looking at it, I cannot recommend this kit. I just wouldn't be able to. I would give this like a 1 out of 5 star rating if I did star ratings on kits. Which, maybe I should start doing that. Let me know if you want me to start doing, like, star ratings on, like, the kits that I do. I might start this, but I don't even know. I would start his face and do his face and see how his face and hand turns out. And then see if I even want to keep going. That's if I even start it, which I don't know if I will. I definitely wouldn't start it this year because it's just too disappointing to start towards the end of a year. You don't want to end the year on a sad note. Alright. 
At least the Joy Sunday makes up for it. I'm really happy that this is a Joy Sunday. I'm looking forward to the bookmarks. I'm looking forward to the Joy Sunday. Um, I'm withholding judgment on the cat. Because I don't know if it's going to have enough collars to be cute or not. It's, I doubt it's going to look as good as... I know it won't look as good as that, but it still might be cute. Um, what did I do with the cat bookmarks? Anyway, you, you, it hasn't been that long. You mirror what they look like. So those are what I got from gbfke.com. Um, the site itself, they have a lot of things. Let me put some of this stuff up while I talk about it. They have, obviously, cross-stitch. I think their cross-stitch choices go anywhere from 9 count to, let me look, 18 count, I think. Yeah, they have 9 count up to 18 count. I know they have 11 and 14 count stamped. I'm assuming the nine count is stamped also. I lost it, sorry. Nine count through 18 count, they're stamped. Underneath they're stamped, it says 11, 14, and 18 count. And then underneath they're counted, it says 11 and 14. But they do have some that are nine um, underneath their new arrival of cross stitch category. Let me open that up, see if anything pops up. Yes, they got like little baby elephants. They got a Kiki's delivery service piece. It's 50 by 50 and it's nine count. They have a lot of cute nine counts. It's just I've never done a nine count. I, I enjoy doing the 11 counts. I like how the higher count projects look better. But I'm not... I mean, I'm not judging if you like nine count, especially if you have like difficulty seeing. Like I have to sometimes, I have three lights on and my glasses to see anything under or over, I mean, 11 count. So you do you. If nine count looks good to you and makes you happy, then do it. If it doesn't even look that good to you, but you enjoy doing it and that's what you can do, then do it. Let me look at the 18 count offerings on this stamped. They have a lot of Christmas stuff right now. It's really cute. They have this sheep in a sweater and scarf and uh, it's really cute. They have wreaths. They have really colorful, beautiful birds. They have some stained glass stuff. This is all the 18 count. And it looks like it's all 18 count stamped. They have 10, looks like 10 pages of 18 count stamp offerings. They have a lot of categories. They have Joy Sunday, Spring, then they have, you know, the categories Animal, Cartoon, Characters, Landscapes, Flowers, Film, Festival. I wonder if that's like, you know, Christmas and stuff. They have the Cross Stitch Crafts, which is bookmarks. I'm sorry. Trying to look at stuff without clicking on all the links, but looks like I might have to. Oh, they have some. Anyway, they have some of the projects I'm currently working on available too. Looks like they have do-it-yourself cross clock. They have clocks. I don't know if they're actually clocks or if they're just like images of clocks. Looks like they have diamond painting like clocks. Home decor it says. Anyway, so they have cross stitch, they have diamond painting, they have um, oil paintings which is paint by number, they have epoxy molds, wax seals, party masks, like masquerade masks, music boxes, these are all like diamond painting, it looks like. Anyway, if you have not checked out gbfke.com, I have to say it slow or I get the letters twisted. 
but if you have not checked them out go check them out I think they're definitely worth checking out um, I mean if nothing else you could stick to like the Joy Sunday in the spring because you know what quality those are I'm not sure like I said the DIY I'm really disappointed in this one I'm withholding judgment on the other one the bookmark looks like it's going to be really cute and that's about all I have to say right now. If I have any discount code or anything, it will be in the description box. I cannot remember right now, and I'm not, you know, I'm not going to waste your time while I go through my emails. Anyway, they have all kinds of sales. There's always a way to save money on these sites. So gbfke.com. The link will be in my description box. The links to the kits and the prices will be in the description box. Um, I thank you so much for watching. Sorry for how rambly this is. Hopefully I've edited it so it's not too just disjointed and rambly. Um, let me know what you think of the kits in the bottom. Let me know if you've done any of the DIY cross stitch kits and how they turned out for you. If any of them turned out good, bad, if you're just meh. Um, tell me your experience with Joy Sunday because like I said I just recently got some and, and this is this is so cute. Alright. I thank you once again. I will stop saying my long southern goodbye. Um, I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye bye.